Commentator wise, yeah. Commentator wise, between like Korean me and uh, him, so. Uh, and I think the head of boss of the commentators here is actually uh, Arcaster. He's uh, definitely got some results too, mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, that's true. But anyways, here we go. Not Joel and Kanye. This is gonna be an interesting matchup to see because Yoshi still has the same weaknesses that he did in Smash Four. Is just that Yoshi's slightly better now than he was in Smash 4, so we'll have to see. Still loses his swords, but Link's kind of a slow swordy, so the spacing not may not be 100% there. Yeah, I think I think definitely Link, when you uh, characterize him as a sword character, I definitely say the sword is in his hand, but it doesn't mean he's swinging it all the time. Yeah. Unless it's forward air or forward tilt. So I always tell people, like, he's more of a projectile zoner than a sword zoner at, at first. Uh, one thing that Nacho should be used to is he's actually used to fighting Yoshis because he does train with another crew member of ours, going to be Suga. He's actually one of the best Yoshis currently in Soka in terms of results. So he's kind of used to the matchup, and he historically has gone pretty well with Suga as well. Oh, trying to find the pressure. And a lot of the projectiles that Link has, they interact very well with the bomb. So it usually puts them where you want it to be. Or if not, then it arcs in a way that it's very pressure heavy. Just like how Yoshi's eggs are kind of pressuring when they go in that high arc or when they roll on the ground. All right, tries to land him with the back air into the up tilt. Pretty good option there because if Kanye would have let go of a shield after the back air, he would have got hit by the up tilt. Good direction or air dodge. Sensing that forward air, Kanye was actually trying to get a read on that one. Especially on the landing, so that's one thing I'm looking from Kanye. He's definitely understanding how Lacho likes to land. Slowing down the game just a little bit. Oh, but that time just found the jab jab. Gonna be minus on shield a lot and you're gonna get a spin attack out of shield just to be able to close it out. Yeah, in that situation we saw Nacho actually angle the shield there, so he is able to get that hero spin. Lands with the downer, great option there. Since the fact that Kanye might have gone for an upper immediately after the forward air. One thing we do, I do like that uh, some of the Link mains do as well, is they like to go for Boomerang there as a check. They check, see, hey, what's your uh, what out of shield option? What's your approach option after this Boomerang? And then they go in. Yeah. Nacho, definitely a fan of it. Okay, gets that parry on the Boomerang, a little bit less pressure to go through. Yeah. Oh, and picks him up with the up tilts into the up airs. In case you didn't know that, all of Yoshi's tail moves are at least somewhat disjointed. Yeah. So it's able to use that intangibility on it to pick him up right when that close quarter of combat. Especially because Nacho actually had his shield angled upwards, the small bottom part of his body was actually exposed. So that's how he was able to hit him with that up tilt. I think Mutra gets the grab here, sets the edge guard situation here. I like the fact that he sees some spacing here, finds it first, and then tosses the bomb. Oh, let's see how he's going to make it back down. He uses the B-reverse um, egg lay, just like before in Smash 4. Very good stuff. Okay, goes with the down air. Tries to go for a dash attack. Immediately, Nacho's still able to recover here. He sets the double ring with another check here. And the one thing that I do like there is he sees the patience because he, he knows his percents, right? That confirms when you can get boomerang to forward air, boom, boomerang to nair, boomerang to up air, things like that. That's what matters here. He stops it from covering low and two up airs because he knows that we're great as an anti-air against Yoshi. Still really, and they still really have a good lasting hitbox as well. Oh, explosion into the nair. Doesn't set up into anything else though. But he's gonna get that low recovery, kind of not challenging it. Nice. Going for double two empty hops here, trying to see how Kanye's going to react out of there, especially with shield. Wait for the response here. Good option. Mm -hmm. and he's been doing a good job of waiting and putting putting himself right outside the range of Yoshi's down B as well, which is a good option that Kanye has when he corners his opponent. But you saw Nacho earlier. He was right outside the range of the star, and that helped him a lot to be able to get that punish into the kill. We saw Nacho actually go for the reverse hero spin a little bit earlier there, and that's because even if it didn't kill because of Yoshi's weight, it would have sent Kanye in a bad situation. Gets the bomb jump because you can't edge guard when you're not even aiming for the edge. But that neutral arrow will take care of it, now putting it 1-1 on the board. Yeah. All right, Boomerang is waiting for him to land. He's pressing a button when he goes down, and that's a free arrow uh, while he lands to the ground. But let's see, picks him up, scoops him up with the up tilts, gets that up air. But the pressure from the bomb, I like that. He just leaves it there, and it makes Kanye hesitant to try and come back and continue his combo. He saw the angle for the shield there. He was looking to get the up beat, but immediately Kanye stops that jab combo there and immediately gets away from it. Kind of some adaptation here. Oh, yeah. but the chase, this is exactly one of the same responses. I don't know if it was with you I commentated with or with Edmund, but you just back away. They make them think that you're drifting that way, so then you drift back towards the ledge and then you don't and you say psych I still have all my resources <laughs> and you go in and get the up air just like that not yeah. Joel gonna take one on the board 
I mean, this is definitely one of those like tried and true classic things you can do with Link, right? Like you know that your up air has a lot of good priority. It's got a great lasting hitbox. It was buffed from last patch actually because it now has less end lag. So definitely one of those moves that you can see now more often. Nacho kind of did it because that, that situation kind of had nowhere else to go. He was only going to be able to go for a land, and if he landed on the platform, Nacho had the bomb around there in play. He had the boomerang in play. So he already had a lot of things covered for when Kanye came back on the stage. It's kind of like a, you know, so to say, uh, a really good political science term. It's your checks and balances. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, we'll see what Kanye is thinking of. He's kind of a troll dude, so I don't know if he already has a stage. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah he, I was going to say, he, yeah. He, he spent all that time to go back, but we'll see how it goes. He has a lot of other characters available to him, so I wouldn't be surprised if he went something else like Jigglypuff. Okay, we're okay, sure, why not? Yeah, this is not a really good matchup for Jigglypuff. This is actually more in Link's favor, uh, simply because you are able to kill Jigs a lot earlier, especially she's the third lightest character in the game now, over being originally the first. Uh, the first going now to Pichu, second being Squirtle, actually, and then third being Jigglypuff. But she still suffers to a lot of the things being one of the featherweights, balloon weights, as they call them. Yeah. Looks like Nachos getting kind of uh, juggled by those fares earlier on, but now he's got his footing one more time. And yeah, those nares and just the linked aerials in general should be able to box out um, Puff. Puff in the air to air combat. Oh, oh but no, no tech. tech. Yeah, and he has a bomb on the stage. Typically speaking, that's uncharacteristic of Nacho, but he had the bomb on the stage. He would have been able to recover if he didn't have the bomb on the stage. But he's also used to fighting Puff. HLB, another member of the crew here, he is. they've played a lot with each other several times. And HLB actually knows not to go Puff against Nacho because he knows what we can do. Yeah. Oh, it looked like Kanye was trying to extend a combo, potentially get a pound, break that shield, and maybe get a rest. Oh, Tech Chase into the tumble, gets that fair and gets the rest afterwards. Great counter pick working out so far. I mean, you know, even if you have the matchup experience, even if your character might win, maybe you just have a mental block against Puff or you're just not used to my Puff, you know? Exactly. Uh, every Puff here in SoCon, every character, every player in SoCon has a different strain of the way they characterize their own characters. So, yeah. definitely that forward there. That's not going to kill. Sends him off the stage. Gets a little bit of a breather here. Sets the bomb downward. And I like the fact that he looks at the, uh, the jump from the bomb and looking to see what he can react to. Yeah, that bomb is a good ledge trap, but it looks like because Puff has the multiple duds, it kind of nullified it. Sure, it put himself in a vulnerable position in the air, but it nullified what Nacho was planning instead. Oh, and I like that. Use the down throw on the bomb and then uses the nair to arc it to catch a high uh, jumping character like Jigglypuff. Double nair here into the grab. Nacho putting in all the batteries here. Switching from triple A to double A. Good patience here because he knew that he knew that Kanye was looking for an opportunity here, and of course, like I said, that goes back to it harkens back to him understanding how Puff works here at the ledge. Sees that forward air. I'm telling you, man, you are the third lightest character in the game, and you will die a lot earlier than you expect, especially against Link. Yeah, I mean, after that, oh. just brought it back to even. Oh man, that could have been a big setup, but he didn't quite get the direction he was looking for. I don't think he was expecting Puff to to actually go not that far, so he he set himself further, and it kind of cost him. And yeah, use, like I said before, using weak nair and strong nair, alternating between them on the bomb when you land it, helps it arc very high and very low. So it's a really good setup tool to apply pressure. Oh, with the pivot forward tilt. Good whiff punish there, especially able to get that with the pivot forward tilt. Sends it the boomerang, got the bomb in play here, sees the defensive play, and with the fourth throw indeed. The pressure from the bomb. Not going to detonate it quite yet, but it's stuck at the ledge. What does he do? He pulls out the jumps, and he catches him in the up air at the last moment. Not Yo, sure. Oh, man. I'm telling you, dude, he understood the way that Kanye plays in the air. He saw that with Yoshi, and he saw that with Puff. I'm telling you, man, it does, it does harken back a little bit to how he fights HLB, especially in this matchup, but it also under, is understanding of, hey, he wants to use his jumps. He wants to come at me from the air. I, he has nowhere to go. I have Bomb on the stage. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. It, it was one of those things where, sure, it nullified your...